a Wikivide documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, film. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is a 2005 fantasy film directed by Mike Newell and distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures. It is based on J.K. Rowling's 2000 novel of the same name, the film, which is the fourth installment in the Harry Potter film series, was written by Steve Cloves and produced by David Heyman. The story follows Harry Potter's fourth year at Hogwarts as he is chosen by the Goblet of Fire to compete in the Triwizard Tournament. The film is the first of the series to receive a page 13 certificate in the US and a 12A in the UK, and stars Daniel Radcliffe as Harry Potter alongside Rupert Grint and Emma Watson as Harry's best friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. It is the sequel to Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and is followed by Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Filming began in early 2004. The Hogwarts scenes were shot at the Leavesden Film Studios, five days after its release. The film had grossed over 102 million US dollars at the North American box office, which is the third highest first weekend tally for a Harry Potter film behind Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2. Goblet of Fire enjoyed an immensely successful run at the box office, earning 896 million dollars worldwide, which made it the highest grossing film of 2005 and the eighth highest grossing film of all time at that time and the sixth highest grossing film in the Harry Potter series. The film was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Art Direction, and won the BAFTA Award for Best Production Design. Goblet of Fire was the second film in the series to be released in IMAX. The film is one of the best-reviewed installments within the series, being praised for the higher level of maturity and sophistication of its characters, plotline, screenplay, and the performances of the lead actors. Plot Harry Potter awakens from a nightmare wherein a man named Frank Bryce is killed after overhearing Lord Voldemort conspiring with Peter Pettigrew and another man. While Harry attends the Quidditch World Cup between Ireland and Bulgaria with the Weasleys and Hermione Granger, Death Eaters terrorize the camp, and the man who appeared in Harry's dream summons the Dark Mark at Hogwarts. Albus Dumbledore introduces ex Aurora Laster, Madai, Moody as the new defense against the Dark Arts teacher. He also announces that the school will host the legendary event known as the Triwizard Tournament, in which three magical schools compete across three dangerous challenges. The Goblet of Fire selects champions to take part in the competition, Cedric Diggory of Hufflepuff representing Hogwarts, Victor Crumb representing the Durmstrang Institute from Central Europe, and Fleur de la Cour representing Beau Batten's Academy of Magic from France. The Goblet then unexpectedly selects Harry as a fourth champion. Dumbledore cannot pull the underage Harry out of the tournament, as Ministry official Barty Crouch Sr. insists that the champions are bound by a contract after being selected for the first task. Each champion must retrieve a golden egg guarded by a dragon. Harry succeeds in retrieving the egg which contains information about the second challenge. Shortly after, a formal dance event known as the Yule Ball takes place. Harry's crush Cho Chang attends with Cedric, and Hermione attends with Victor, making Ron jealous. During the second task, the champions must dive underwater to rescue their mates. Harry finishes third, but is promoted to second behind Cedric due to his moral fiber after saving Fleur's sister Gabrielle as well as Ron. Afterwards, Harry discovers the corpse of Crouch Sr. in the forest. Later, while waiting for Dumbledore in his office, Harry discovers a pensive, which holds Dumbledore's memories. Harry witnesses a trial in which Igor Karkarov, Durmstrang Institute's headmaster, confesses to the Ministry of Magic names of other Death Eaters, after Voldemort's defeat, when he named Severus Snape as one. Dumbledore vouches for Snape's innocence. Snape turns spy against Voldemort before the latter's downfall. After Karkaroff names Barty Crouch Jr. a devastated Crouch Sr. imprisons his son in Azkaban. Exiting the Pensieve, Harry realizes Crouch Jr. is the man he saw in his dream. For the final task, 
The champions must reach the Triwizard Cup, located in a hedge maze. Victor, under the influence of the Imperious Curse, accidentally incapacitates Fleur. After Harry saves Cedric when the maze attacks him, the two claim a draw and together grab the cup, which turns out to be a portkey and transports them to a graveyard where Pettigrew and Voldemort are waiting. Pettigrew kills Cedric with the Killing Curse and performs a ritual that rejuvenates Voldemort, who then summons the Death Eaters. Voldemort releases Harry in order to beat him in a duel and prove he is the better wizard. Unable to defend himself, Harry tries the Expelliarmus charm at the same moment that Voldemort attempts the Killing Curse. The beams from their wands entwine, and Voldemort's wand disgorges the last spells it performed. The spirits of the people he murdered materialize in the graveyard, including Harry's parents and Cedric. This distracts Voldemort and his Death Eaters, allowing Harry to escape with Cedric's body by grabbing the portkey. Harry tells Dumbledore that Voldemort returned and killed Cedric. Moody takes Harry back to his office to interrogate him about Voldemort, but inadvertently blows his cover by asking Harry whether there were others in the graveyard, despite Harry not mentioning a graveyard. Moody reveals that he submitted Harry's name to the Goblet of Fire, and manipulated Harry throughout the tournament to ensure he would win. Moody attempts to attack Harry, but Dumbledore, Snape, and Minerva McGonagall intervene and subdue him. The teachers force Moody to drink Veritaserum, a truth-telling potion, and he reveals that the real Moody is imprisoned in a magical trunk. The imposter's polyjuice potion wears off, revealing him as Crouch Jr. who is then returned to Azkaban. Dumbledore reveals to the students that Voldemort killed Cedric, although the Ministry of Magic opposes the revelation. Later Dumbledore visits Harry in his dormitory, apologizing to him for the dangers he endured. Harry reveals that he saw his parents in the graveyard. Dumbledore names this effect as Priori Incantatum. Soon after Hogwarts, Durmstrang and Bo Batten's bid farewell to each other. Cast Robert Pattinson replaces stunt performer slash actor Joe Livermore as Hogwarts champion Cedric Diggory, who makes a brief appearance in the previous film in a Quidditch sequence. Clemence Boese plays the role of Bo Batten's champion Fleur Delacour, while Stanislav Yanevsky portrays Durmstrang champion and Quidditch star Victor Crumb. David Tennant portrays Barty Crouch Jr., who disguises himself as Mad Eye Moody for most of the film. Production British film director Mike Newell was chosen to direct the film after Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban director Alfonso Cuaron announced that he would only direct one Potter film. In a statement explaining the transition of directors, series producer David Heyman said, Principal photography for Goblet of Fire began on 4 May 2004. Although scenes involving the film's principal actors did not begin filming until 25 June 2004 at England's Leavesden Studios, Steve Cloves, the screenwriter for the previous installments, returned for Goblet of Fire. On adapting the 734-page book into a feature-length film, Cloves commented that, We always thought it would be two movies, but we could never figure out a way to break it in two. So it will be a different experience from the book. Set Design As in the previous installments, Stuart Craig and Stephanie McMillan provided the film's art and set designs, respectively. Due to the film's scope, there were many new sets and transformations of old sets created. McMillan was most excited about redesigning the Great Hall for the scenes involving the Yule Ball. Originally we thought silver curtains, silver tablecloths and a nice dance floor, said McMillan, but it just went on. And on. The drapesman eventually said, why not just stick the fabrics on the wall? Each task of the Triwizard Tournament required massive sets. The rock quarry set for the first task, where Harry faces off with the Hungarian Horntail, was built in two sections at Leavesden Studios. Craig called it, one of the biggest sets we've ever built for any of the films. For the second task, involving the film's underwater scenes, the film crew designed and built a blue screen tank holding about half a million gallons of water. As for the final task, which took place in the maze, 
Hedge walls ranging from 20 to 40 feet tall were constructed and enhanced with computer-generated imagery. Music John Williams, who had scored the first three Harry Potter films, could not return for the fourth installment due to a busy 2005 schedule. Patrick Doyle, who had worked with Newell in Into the West and Donny Brasco, replaced him as composer. The initial request was that Doyle would be working with Williams' material, but eventually only, Hedwig's theme, the leitmotif of the series, remained from the previous scores. Pulp lead singer Jarvis Cocker, who was even rumored to score the film, was one of the musicians invited by Doyle, with whom he had worked in the Great Expectations soundtrack, to write a song for a wizard rock band. Once Doyle chose Cocker's composition, he and other British musicians such as Johnny Greenwood and Phil Selway of Radiohead were picked to play the fictional band, both performing songs for the soundtrack and having cameo roles in the film. Differences from the book With the Goblet of Fire novel almost twice the length of Prisoner of Azkaban, the writers and producers reduced certain scenes and concepts to make the transition from page to screen. Director Mike Newell described the problem as one-off, compressing a huge book into the compass of a movie. This was achieved by, putting aside, all the components of the novel which did not directly relate to Harry and his journey. Goblet of Fire is the first film adaptation not to begin at Privet Drive. After the opening sequence, Harry awakens at the burrow on the morning of the Quidditch World Cup. The gameplay at the Quidditch World Cup was removed for timing reasons, leaving an abrupt temporal jump which some reviewers considered awkward or rushed. In the book, Harry and many of the Weasleys supported Ireland, while in the film Harry and Ron supported Bulgaria. However, they also love Victor Crumb, from Bulgaria. Other scenes are shortened and amalgamated to include only the most essential plot details, the three Death Eater trials Harry witnesses in the Pensieve are merged into one sequence. The characters of Bill Weasley, Charlie Weasley, Ludo Bagman, Winky, Narcissa Malfoy and Bertha Jorkins are absent, as well as Dobby, who was supposed to help Harry obtain Jillyweed for the second task. Instead, that scene was changed to involve Neville Longbottom. There is no train scene at the end where Rita Skeeter is revealed to be an illegal, unregistered animagus. Harry has never seen either receiving or giving away the 1,000 galleons in prize winnings. All of Sirius Black's lines are condensed into a single fireside conversation. The scene in which Crouch Jr. is taken back to Azkaban is different from the book, in which he was killed by a Dementar summoned by Cornelius Fudge. There is also no conversation in which Fudge refuses to believe that Voldemort has returned, so this is explained in the next film. Marketing An exclusive first look of the film was shown on ABC during the television premiere of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on 7 May 2005. The first trailer was made available online on 8 May 2005. The international trailer debuted online on 23 August 2005. The video game version, designed by EA UK, was released 8 November 2005. Mattel released a line of action figures and artifacts based on the film. Among these was the first edition of Harry Potter Seen It, containing over 1,000 questions involving the four films. Rating Goblet of Fire was the first film in the series to receive a page 13 rating by them par 4. Sequences of fantasy violence and frightening images, M by the ACB and a 12A by the BBFC for its dark themes, fantasy violence. Threat and frightening images. Word Sisters Lawsuit In the run-up to the film, Warner Brothers approached a Canadian folk group called the Word Sisters to obtain permission to use the name The Weird Sisters for its Harry Potter band, when a deal could not be made. The Canadian band filed a 40 million US dollar lawsuit against Warner Brothers the North American distributor of the film, as well as the members of the in-movie band for the misuse of their group's name. The Canadian band also brought an injunction to stop the release of the film in its country as it contained a performance by the identically named fictional rock band. An Ontario judge dismissed this motion. 
and to avoid further controversy Warner Brothers rendered the band unnamed in the film and many derived products. However, the Winnipeg-based group continued to pursue the lawsuit. Lead singer Kim Baraluk stated in her claim that, consumers will assume that the smaller and less famous Canadian band is trying to take advantage of the Harry Potter fame by copying the Harry Potter band's name when in fact the reverse is true. The injunction was dismissed, and the band was ordered to pay costs. As of March 2010, the lawsuit has been settled, the details sealed. Theatrical release Goblet of Fire was the second film in the series to be given a simultaneous release in conventional theatres and IMAX. Dubbed as Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the IMAX experience. The film was digitally remastered for IMAX from its 35mm form to take part in a commercial growth strategy, set up between IMAX and Warner Bros. Pictures. The film was released in most countries within a two-week period starting on 18 November 2005 in the United Kingdom and United States, with a 1 December 2005 release in Australia in the United States. The film opened in a maximum of 3,858 cinemas that included several IMAX screens. The world premiere of the film took place in London, England on 6 November 2005. One of the features of the premiere was an animatronic, fire-breathing Hungarian horntail. The 40-foot-long dragon, used during the scene where Hagrid leads Harry into the forest a night before the first task, was designed and built by the film's special effects supervisor John Richardson and creature effects and makeup supervisor Nick Dudman. Home Media The film was released on DVD in North America on 7 March 2006. It was available in one and two disc editions, as well as part of an eight-disc box set that includes all four films made by that time. The bonus disc features three interactive games, as well as seven behind-the-scenes featurettes. The film was also released in UMD format for PSP. On its first day of release in North America, over 5 million copies were sold, recording a franchise high for first-day sales. Within its first week it sold over a total of 9 million units of combined sales of both the widescreen and full-screen versions of the DVD. The UK edition was released on DVD on 20 March 2006 and became the fastest-selling UK DVD ever, selling six copies per second on its first day of release. According to the official charts company, the DVD sold 1.4 million copies in its first week alone. It is also available in a two-disc edition with special features similar to the North American two-disc edition. Currently, the DVD holds the Guinness World Record for being the fastest-selling DVD of all time. The achievement was added to the 2007 book edition of the Guinness World Records, which includes a picture of the award being presented to Dan Radcliffe on set of Order of the Phoenix at Leavesden Film Studios in April 2006. In the United States, the first five Harry Potter films were released on HD DVD, and Blu-ray disc on the 11th of December 2007. The fourth film has since become available in numerous box sets containing the other films released in the series, including the Harry Potter, Complete 8 Film Collection, and Harry Potter Wizards Collection. An ultimate edition of Goblet of Fire was released on the 19th of October 2010, featuring behind-the-scenes footage, trailers, additional scenes, and a feature-length special creating the world of Harry Potter Part 4, sound and music, despite not being included in the Ultimate Edition. An extended version has been shown during certain television airings with a running time of about 167 minutes. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?